Today, I'm going to draw a pricey sketch. First, I need a photograph. I have a photograph of Lake Taupo that I took from a lookout from the slopes of Mount Pihanga. Notice the oblique view of the photograph. I will use the acronym FD Tonks to help draw the sketch. FD Tonks stands for Frame, Divisions, Title, Outline, North Point, Key, and Scale. Now my photograph of Lake Telpo was taken from an oblique angle, so therefore I need to give it a trapezium shaped frame. So we'll draw our trapezium. And the reason we need to do this is to compensate for the fact that some features are further away while other features are going to be a lot closer. So doing this will also require you to divide your photo up into your foreground we'll have our midground and we'll have our background or our horizon that way we can draw our pricey sketch in perspective I will give my sketch a title I'll call it a pricey sketch of Lake Taupo Now I want to select the main cultural and natural features that are shown in the photograph. I will put them in my key and include the lake, native bush, roads, a bridge, the river, buildings, wetlands, oxidation ponds and some of the mountains in the horizon. Now you've got to use appropriate colours for the features. Where possible, I'll use the same colours that are used in many topographic maps. For example, water is blue, so in my key, I will draw a box, colour it in blue, and that's going to be the lake. Forests, any kind of native forest, well, that's green. So again, Make that for us and so on. Now you can see here my completed key now we're ready to go. Now we'll start drawing the outline on the horizon of the mountains behind the lake. We've got uh, Mount Tahara here which I'm drawing and that is a rhyolitic volcano which is behind uh, the Taupo Township. So we got that there sorted. And also, there's kind of like this uh, headland that you can see in the middle of the lake. We'll draw that. And um, then we'll start drawing the outline of the lake itself. So, I'll get this blue here. comes around here there you go that's our outline now we want our map to be accurate so sometimes you gotta make a correction so I'm going back to draw this peninsula over here on the lake because we want the end of it to line up with Mount Tauhara so we'll come out like, like this and now we'll draw our cliffs and uh, Got this bump here and the island is going to be over here more so that's much better. Now we'll add the outline for some of our other features so what I'll do is I will put in my oxidation ponds and I will also just get a pencil and I'll just lightly uh, sort of demarcate the area where the wetlands are going to be separated from the farmland so I'll sort of roughly go around here, I'll sort that part out later uh, we also have the 
River. Uh, there's a river that comes around here. I think some of it you can't see in the photo. And we're going to have a road which is actually State Highway 41. And there's actually going to be a bridge that's going to come over the river. And our road's sort of going to go around here like that. There's also a bit of scrubland uh, nearby, so we'll do, that's going to fill in that gap there. We've got some exotic forest, I think, planted on this side of the road. And there's a patch of native forest just up here on that side of the river. Okay, so we'll just divide that off. Now we're ready to start colouring in our different features. So first, let's start colouring in our lake. Okay, now we're colouring in our forests. Now to finish our colouring in, we're ready to get our light green and start shading in our farmland. Now when I compare my sketch to a topographic map, I can see that the mountain was actually northeast from where I was standing. So therefore, north must be in this direction, so I'll draw my north point. And then finally now, we want to annotate some of the main features. So we'll go Mount Talhara. Lake Taupo, Highway 41, and so on. And here is my completed sketch. Now if you're drawing from a bird's eye view, you want to draw a frame that is the same shape as the photograph that you're drawing from. Now in this case, the photograph I'm drawing from is 1800 by 1200 pixels. So therefore, I'll use a ratio to convert to my drawing, and I'll do mine by 18 centimeters by 12 centimeters. But then also for more accuracy, what you want to do is you want to draw some sort of grid on your photograph. So I'll divide my photograph into four, uh, four quarters, and then I'll do the same on my sketch that I'm drawing here. So I'll lightly draw that like this, so you can see I've divided it into four quarters. And from here, you can go on to draw your sketch.